elderly Walmart worker retires after $108,000 in donations. Uh, I'm like a bird out of a cage now. So this to me is really sad that he couldn't already retire and he had to get donations in order to retire. But Fox News is going to make this into perseverance porn and make it seem like it's a feel-good story when really it inadvertently highlights how messed up the American system is. An 82-year-old Navy veteran has now worked his final shift as a Walmart cashier after a viral TikTok video helped raise over $100,000 for him. A customer in Butch Marion's checkout line had seen a couple of videos of folks raising money for Walmart workers who were in their 80s, and he took to TikTok to do the same thing for Butch. Watch here. The one lady, she he, he, she raised $100,000 for this, 80, this, this woman, and now she's got another one going, and she just raised an, over 50000 in four days for another 82-year-old. Oh, be damn. Yeah. Now imagine that someone raised that kind of money for you. <laughs> well, that has happened. Butch Marion joins us now along with Rory McCarty. I mean, this is just sad. I'm so happy for him. I'm glad that this happened. But there's so many other people who aren't going to get lucky enough to have somebody raise $100,000 for them to retire. I mean, this dude is like 8,000 years old. He should have retired decades ago. And listen, this is such a common phenomenon. When I worked at Walmart, there were probably more than a dozen elderly people. Um, this old lady was like my bestie there. We talked shit in the break room. She was amazing. But I felt so bad knowing that she was like in her 80s and had to work. Like, not only should you be free and retired, but to work at a shitty job like Walmart where they disrespect you and treat you like garbage, it just makes me so sad because it doesn't have to be this way. So rather than trying to make it seem as if this is a feel-good story, maybe Fox News, and, and I haven't seen the whole segment, maybe they will, they should take this opportunity to explain how people should be able to retire. People should be able to live out their golden years in peace and not have to deal with dickhead customers. Like probably before he was filmed by that guy and put on TikTok, he probably was yelled at by some Karen. It's just, this is so depressing to watch. Posted that TikTok and set up the GoFundMe for him. Butch, I'll start with you. This is such an amazing story. How does it feel to have this done for you and to be able to finally retire? Well, it's so overwhelming mm. and it's so big. I, oh, here I go. But, uh, and I can't even put my arms around it. To, to tell you the truth, Aww. it's it's so amazing how good people are from around the world now. This ain't just there. This ain't one around the world. And why was I out of everybody the one pick? Oh, all right, well, why don't you tell us that, Bush? Why was he out of everybody the one pick? Well, um, I first want to thank our Lord and Savior, yep. Jesus Christ, because it oh, wasn't... shut the fuck up. Okay, first of all, this dude is like 80 himself. Like, you should be retiring. This is the network, by the way, that runs cover for politicians that want to raise the retirement age. So that way they can dip into Social Security. So that way their corporate donors can uh, profit off of the money that people like this man paid into his entire life. Like, this this whole system is so barbaric and ruthless. And this network, Fox News, they fight to keep it this way. In fact, they want to make it worse. It's not just that they defend the status quo. They want to actively make your lives worse. So they really have the audacity here to spin this as some sort of a feel-good story. Like, it's so wonderful that this man will be able to retire. But again, it is statistically unlikely that this story is going to be the same for other people, maybe like one or two. But you shouldn't have to rely on somebody fundraising for you, like coming coming to your line, putting a camera up in your face, saying, hey, how would you like if somebody raised money for you? Like you shouldn't have to get that to retire. You shouldn't have to get a GoFundMe to pay for your medical bills. Like I need people to understand. I can't stress this enough. It doesn't have to be this way. We can have a world where you can retire and not live in poverty, where you can have health care and not go into debt. He wouldn't have pricked my heart to start this. Um, 
But I seen a video earlier that day of a lady named Elizabeth Rizzo. She shared, um, you know, to see, you know, an 82 year old woman yeah. who uh, she raised over 133 thousand dollars. And I seen that that day. Well, as a business owner, it's hard for me to find good help. Yeah. I'm expanding. And uh, so when I went into Walmart, I seen this man leaning over and working, and I was just blown away. You so thought, I heard, you I, thought if I can help him, I'm going to. Absolutely. So the Lord just prompted me to get my video out, and I did. Wow. And um, I'll and be I'm, perfectly honest. I hate this guy. <laughs> I fucking hate him. <laughs> These fucking petite bourgeoisie small business fucks who they're so fucking insufferable. So insufferable. Yeah, see, it's so hard to find good help because nobody wants to work. Everyone is so lazy. But this hard worker, maybe we should give him a break. Maybe if, like, people like you, and I'm just going to assume he's a shitty person because we, we have enough info. Uh, a, a shitty employer, I should say. But, like, maybe if people like you actually paid your workers fair, fair wages, they could retire and you wouldn't need to do a fucking GoFundMe after they go viral on TikTok. How about that? I started videotaping him. And, um, and I. $108,000. Yeah, $108,000 in almost two days. That's amazing. Yeah. Butch, I'll ask you the question everybody's wondering how are you going to spend the money and, and spend your, your lovely day? On retirement, you dipshit. What the fuck? We're going to Disneyland. He's going to fucking retire. What do you think he's going to do? He's like a thousand years old. Fox News is so fucking stupid. Holy shit, I can't believe she's asking him that. My head's going to explode. Retirement now. Well, I'm gonna pay my bills off and everything. Shocker! And I guess, you know, I'll probably donate uh, uh, helping people j just like they've helped me. Bro, and it's uh, that's not that much money to be donating shit. Like, don't put them on the spot like this. How are you gonna spend your money? I mean, if you can take that money and you live frugally, like, Maybe he can get to the end of his life that way, but Jesus Christ. That's not to say that, like, I'm against charity or mutual aid. Of course I support that, but, like, we're talking about this dude who could barely retire and can retire on $108,000. Like, how long can that really last you? I mean, he's old, but Jesus Christ. Don't, like, don't donate the f***ing money is, is the point, Jesus. I, I, I guess this is national, and I, I would like to thank everybody around the world. Mm. Wow. They gave me this. It, I don't know. I, I, I just can't explain it. Wow. You're going to spend some of the money to go visit your daughters down south? Um, I am going down to Florida. It's been how long since you saw them? Uh, it's been about, uh, oh, five years since I've been down there. Wow. Jesus Christ. And, uh, Probably because Walmart doesn't give you uh, enough vacation days. Like, if he's just, like, a customer sales associate or whatever, um, I doubt he gets... Uh, good uh paid leave there i didn't work for walmart very long so i have no uh, like i don't remember what exactly it was that i got uh, i was still in my like probation period before they hired me full time i worked there for like three or four months um so i don't remember what the specifics were but like unless you're in management you get jack shit so um he probably never had time to visit his daughters but like now i'm getting worried because it's like how much are you going to spend to go visit They're like one hundred and eight thousand dollars in 2023 it's not that much. It's going to get you a while, but uh, don't overestimate how much money that is. I know it's a lot of money, but like you're, you're talking about stretching this to the end of your, your life. So God, this story is really frustrating. Uh, I'm going to do that. And I'm like a bird out of a cage now. <laughs> and I'm, I'm go fishing. Yes. <laughs> and, 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 and sat down uh, uh, along the river bank, maybe drink a beer of wine. If I get a bite, I get a bite. If I don't, well, just let everything just go on by. Well, God bless both of you, and thank you for your service. Rory, it's the gift you. that keeps on giving because we're all smiling. It's a wonderful yep. story. Thanks for doing it. it. Hey, thank you so very much. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, Click off Sean Hannity. This is, this is the problem with, like, corporate media, right? They actually see this story 
and it doesn't make them get depressed. It doesn't make them feel introspective and think, man, maybe this disgustingly barbaric and ruthless system should be reformed. They think, nope, this is fine, and we're going to continue to do propaganda at the behest of all of the politicians that not only want to maintain the status quo, but make it exponentially worse for people. I mean, if you watched, uh, what was it, on MSNBC the other day, Joanne Reed was talking to Byron Donalds, and he was quite literally making the case for privatizing Social Security. While saying, oh, I don't support privatization, but he was explaining why it's a good thing. As if that wouldn't completely destroy Social Security and make it even less likely that folks this old retire. Um, so, like, they have a lot of nerve to run this segment as if this is a feel-good story. No, this is a depressing story. Like, these types of stories about how, like, some YouTube influencer got a homeless man a, a fucking haircut and took him to McDonald's and it went viral. That's not a feel-good story, okay? These stories shouldn't make you feel good. They should make you sick to your stomach. They should get you to question our entire capitalist system. But Fox News, they're, they're completely stupid. Like, they just think, oh, well, you know, since it happened to this man, like, all you have to do is, if you have a mom that can't retire, just, like, put her on TikTok. Put a camera in her face and... Pray to Jesus that she goes viral. That's not realistic. Not every single old person can go viral and get $100,000 on TikTok. Like, I'm very thankful for this man uh, that, that that happened to him. He seems like a lovely person. But this isn't replicable. Like, it's, it's not going to be a common thing. Holy shit.